Initiative is something we look for in the interns that we take on, in the employees that we give jobs to, and in anyone that we work with. Why is that so helpful? So to understand the importance of this quality, this initiative, we need to go back and understand what happens when we don't have it. And how do we not have it? How do we not develop it? I think this stems from education, where you're on a set number of lectures and every question that is asked of you has an answer and the person asking the question knows the answer. So when you operate under this professor assumption, you are you are refining your ability to regurgitate. You are building yourself, you are becoming a commodity, right? You are building yourself into the industrialized system. And that was what we needed, I think, 60 years ago or so. But I don't believe that's what we need now. What we need now is somebody to lead us to ask interesting questions and come up with novel solutions. And that's where initiative comes in. How, so I was talking to an old mentee of mine and he asked, how do you create that go-getter attitude in someone? How do you develop that? How do you push someone to step up to the plate? Now, I don't know that there's any one answer here. I, I don't know that there's any quick answer here either. It may be simply that you need to stop coddling yourself, coddling your mind, and encourage yourself to start coming up with solutions to these novel, or these novel solutions to these interesting problems. For example, we, we were talking about school. And so if, if school has, has questions coming in and then I have to answer, right? There's a worksheet, there is uh, a grade, there is 100%, and that is what I am shooting for. That does not lend itself to creativity. That insinuates binary wrong versus right. It doesn't encourage people to step out, to challenge authority, to challenge the status quo. What it does is it makes our society more efficient, but it doesn't push us forward because efficiency growth is, you know, 2x or 3x. It is not 10x. It does not, uh, it, it is not exponential growth, right? It doesn't push us to places that we never thought possible. So in, in the context of an intern, how do you get someone who walks by a, a piece of trash that's laying on the floor, how do you convince that person to just pick it up without asking about it, without wondering if anybody's looking? Well, honestly, I don't know. I think, though, that it needs to become the culture that you are a part of. And so people like us, people that I hang out with, like to pick things up off the ground. We like to keep things tidy because we understand that tidy things allow us to be a little bit more clear-minded in our thinking. And they allow us to stay focused on the tasks at hand. How do you teach someone to step up to the plate? I'm curious to hear what you have. What thoughts do you have? What have you done in the past? I know this millennial society to me has coddled our minds and has made us afraid of stepping out and of challenging the status quo and of always following script. But I think there is a way that we can continue to train our minds, to train our bodies, to teach us how to challenge this, to teach us how to take that initiative and to make us indispensable in our jobs.